Okay. Uh, sure. I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? Well, thank you. You need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. oh, yes, mister, please. Thank you. Do you know Valentine? I live there. No problem. Come on, boy. travel this far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I I'd borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband... Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Mm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Yeah. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... odd. Just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. Slow down, please. Why'd you stop? Yep. We're close now. Just a little further.
What's your problem? Thank you for all your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You be well. I wish I could squeeze his eyeballs to mush. Why are you doing this? My boy. Oh, hey, Dutch. You okay, Tilly? You heard Hi, Karen. So good? Yeah, well, try losing your husband. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Fine. Our accounts are up to date. Side sacks, a lot of them. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, hey, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. In a field, someplace, my mamas were in Lincolnshire, my daddies were outside of Rotterdam. 
At least that's what they told me. The modern world is ugly. But the old world was worse. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something, too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. And that hope. That hope begins now. By being hopeful.